Tina from Makeup Wearables, and today we're going to create two everyday headband braid hairstyles that you can do for school or work. Here, I'm wearing my new Luxie Hair Ombre Hair Extensions in 24 inches, and these are the same gorgeous set that Mimi wears for her hair tutorials, and let me tell you, these are even better in person. Alright, so after using some wax and teasing my roots slightly, I'm attaching four of a single clip Luxies to make my braid thicker because I don't have a lot of hair on my crown. And I'm doing today's hairstyles on second day curls. I used the 1 inch HSI Professional Curling Iron to curl both my hair and my Luxies. If your curls don't last, and I get this question all the time, try a setting spray like Reckon has said 22 and I heard that Tresemme also has a really nice setting spray so you can try that as well. And I like the HSI heat protectant spray because it has argan oil in it. Make a deep side part and clip over the back of your crown. The first hairstyle is a Dutch fishtail headband braid and I'm going to show you guys how to do this in two ways because the first method is easier to understand but the second method is easier to do so I want you guys to do it that way. So this is the first method. We're going to grab some hair and split it in two and just crisscross it to start this braid. Take some hair from the outside of the left section. And because this is a Dutch braid, we're going to add in some hair. And crisscross, not crisscross, we're going to cross them both under to the other section. But make sure you place it in the inside part of the right section, okay? And then we're going to repeat on the other side. We're going to take some hair from the outside of the right section. Add in some hair from the right side and cross both under to the left section. So we're always going to take the hair from the outside area and cross it under to the opposite section but place it in the inside part of the opposite section. Does that make sense? Take some hair from the left section, add in some hair from the left side and cross both under to the right section. Take some hair from the right section, add in some hair from the right side and cross both under to the left section. And you just repeat, so that was the first method. And the second method which is easier is by crossing the strands alone so we're not crossing it after it's been merged. So we're going to take some hair from the left section and cross it under to the right section by itself. Then because this is a Dutch braid, we're going to add in some hair from the left side and cross it under to the right section. So for the second method, we're basically crossing it under twice per side. You guys can wear this hairstyle tightly braided or wear it voluminous by tugging on the sides. And about here, we're going to turn this into a normal fishtail braid, which means we're simply crossing under a strand once per side. Now you can either bobby pin it in the back or grab some hair from the back and tie it to your braid, which is something I normally do. Then release the clip so the hair covers the elastic band, apply some argan oil to smooth out your hair, and we're done. I know how much you guys like easy hairstyles, so I made sure the second headband will be easy to do but also fast. So again, we're going to do a deep side part and clip away the back. Then grab a small section and make a rope braid. If you can't do a rope braid, just twist them together. But rope braid basically means twisting both sections in the same direction and combining them in the opposite. So we're going to twist both sections towards the face. Then take the piece closest to the face away from the face. So that sounded really confusing, right? So say this in your head while you're doing it. Both towards the face and left over right and it'll just click. And now we're just going to take some hair from the front and loop it through the rope braid. 
but clip it out of the way once you do this because it's easier. Pick another section and again loop it through the next stitch in the rope braid. So just repeat this over and over before pinning the rope braid in the back. Headband braid was your favorite from today. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like easy hairstyles. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys again next week. I love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.